And as we move forward into the second arc of tonight's card, and it's all just great appetizers to the double main course tonight. Wally, I'm psyched for those Memphis Million Battles Royal. I'm sure we're not alone about that. But like you say, we got a whole lot of appetizers to get through. So bring your appetite. All right, up next, the Women's World Champion faces a challenger she's never faced before. As current number one contender, Autumn Breeze, has her first ever encounter with Dynamite Genie Parker. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Women's World Wrestling Championship! Man, oh man alive, Johnny. The pressure is really on for Autumn Breeze here. But it's gotta be thrill for Autumn to have her first ever singles title match at our biggest show of the year. Forget WrestleMania, screw Starcade, and double or nothing. You can forget about all of them. Memphis Million is where the action is sung. It's taken Autumn just about three years in RWL to get to this night, this match, this opportunity. And that's got to be banging around in her head right now. This is it, guys. The title is up for grabs here. And this might be the most highly anticipated title defense in recent memory. She's a former women's tag champion with Sherry Wolf, ranked 36 on the top 50 list for this year. A lot of folks believe we may see a new champion tonight, and you're looking at the one who believes it the most. And all that experience on the indie circuits. She's had titles all over the country. But this is her first chance at our WL's biggest prize in the women's division. Her Ebony Majesty has arrived. The longest reigning women's world champ in our WL history. With 60 to title defenses here at Memphis Million. And as always... There's that 50-50 chance she could lose that amazing streak right here. Tonight, she's never faced Autumn before, and that could be a disadvantage in a big match like this. Of course, the title is on the line in this one, guys. And don't be surprised if history is made here tonight. I know the champ has looked good as of late, but I'd say the opposition has looked just as good, if not better. Well, if you're right, Wally, and you could be, Jeannie D better adapt to the situation quickly if she wants to keep that streak going. Introducing the challenger from Allentown, Pennsylvania, Awesome Briggs. And her opponent from Richmond, Virginia, she is the Women's World Wrestling Champion, the Queen. Dynamite Jeez, You need a particle accelerator to cut the tension here at Mid-South. What a Memphis billion it's been so far. You win this title, you are primed for big things. All right, well, let's see what Miss Autumn Breeze brings to the table. You have to forgive me for the lack of information on this title, but I have heard that it's highly coveted. Well, my sources sent me a VHS tape of this title's greatest matches, and there were some all-time classics. Really? Okay, can I borrow that tape, Corey? Absolutely not, Saxon. I'd be doing a disservice to my sources. Cody pulled off. She's going up. Top rope here. She's got her in her sights. Take off. Big mistake there, Corey. Well, she knows that now. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. Lands face first. Uh oh. She turns it right around with a counter. 
She steers clear of that one. And responds with a counter of their own. Yeah. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Yeah. Right to the gut. Yeah. Ripcord applied. Oh, and a forearm. Oh, that's going to sting your back. Did you hear that thud? The champion's down, the champion's down! Oh my god, we have a new champion! Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. Arm trap. Precision strikes! Oh, quite an effective counter. No way. Sonar saw plancha to the floor! That's finding Whoa. any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. She sent back in under the ropes. Yeah. Nice arm drag. The challenge is looking shaken. Yeah. Down yeah. first. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. Uh-oh. First into the neck breaker. Steer clear of that. Discus the knee strike. She saw that one coming. Oh, and a reversal. Well, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. Stop after stop. Relentless. You want to control the tempo. You want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Ooh, look at her answering back. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Elbow puts an end to that. To the midsection, Sunset flip. No, 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 no. Into a power ball. The champ has this one in hand now. A kick out. That's how much winning this title means to give everything you've got. I don't know how much you can have left after that, but you've got to be impressed. I don't know if there's more frustration or desperation in the ring now, knowing that you've tried to end this and failed. She's about to rise up to something catastrophic. Whoa. Look at this! Oh no! Crashing hard onto the floor! Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not gonna provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. And now gets tossed into the ring. Tied up between the ropes. It's about to get worse. Look at these knee strikes. Oh! All right, she's back in, ready to go. Tossed into the corner. Oh, using the knee. Look at all these boots to the face. Here comes a big one. Ooh! <laughs> Standing Spanish flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. There's two! And a kick out again! This is incredible! This is amazing! Going for it again! 
She avoids the attack completely. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Yeah, I think these competitors expected this to be a difficult challenge. Even so, at this stage, things just get more and more dangerous. Fatigue starts setting in, and you don't know exactly how all your wits about you. It could quickly lead to error. Uh-oh, second rope. Sure, this one was over. Oh. Running close line. Oh. Oh, straight forward. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. Oh. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Oh. On the first row. The champion shot is palpable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. And you see a perplexed look now for how such impactful offense couldn't gain a pinfall. These superstars must be feeding off the WWE universe. This place is starting to run. Jumping knee strike. Like that. Here's the pin title on the line. Question, how much is it worth? How much is it worth to continue through the agony? It's obviously worth everything. Obviously worth every drop of sweat on the ground. And an elbow. That's mounted with punches. And, not, and a Ooh. step to the gut, too. She's got an answer for that. Clearly waiting for that. Sweet. Not done there. Rapid fire rights over and over. Perched up top.
tell you what, these fans in Memphis, they really want to see Jake and Von Berger take down the Guns brothers just as bad as Sylvia does. What a feather in the cap this would be. The Stronghold Stable even beat out the Grand Wizard of Wrestling's Murderer's Road this year, and Sylvia is still on the hunt for a ladies' tag team that wants guidance. Hey, with the success she's had, I'm surprised they're not banging down her office door. The WWE Universe on their feet. And introducing the champions, accompanied by Rossi Flores. At a combined weight of 504 pounds, they are the television tag team champions, the Brotherhood. Huge title defense for the champs coming up next, guys. It's definitely a big match for them, Cole, but given how they've looked of late, I suspect they'll walk out of here the same way they walked in as champs. Mr. Ringside and El Jefe with Rossi Flowers here to counter Sylvia's presence, I'm sure, as long as she doesn't start acting all sketch, helping her team to a win like usual. Matchups like these are why I love tag team wrestling. You have to think that winning these tag titles was a turning point for these superstars. Oh, absolutely. And tonight is another turning point, Michael. They either keep the titles or they have new champions. Either way, it'll be hot news on WWE.com. Evades their offense. shoulder up. Based on what we just saw, I think this match is far from over. Perched up top. A dummy knee drop. Oh, look at this. More time. Knee strikes. Able to interrupt the attack. into the torture rack. Oh, feast your eyes. The champ will stay Makes champ. The cover. Two. Got the shoulder up. Simply refusing to let this opportunity slip away. And who knows if there'll be another shot. You, know, you can't give up now. Everything possible was done to win there, but it just fell short. Floating through the air. Consecutive high risk maneuvers, and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. Oof. Just being pushed around. Yeah, he has to devise some kind of new strategy here. Submit! 
use the power to escape. the wrist just absolutely punishing their opponent here relentlessly Oof. and he's just picking him apart now yeah this match is in his favor now Mounted with punches and not oh a nasty stop to finish it off. Able to reverse that one. In full control here, face first. He takes control. to see here, hoist it up, and the champion finally ready to put this one away, two, oh, got the shoulder up just at the last minute, at two and a half, he kicked out, Ooh. these competitors have been going deep into the arsenal of all match, but have not found a way to end it at all. Swings in momentum. Every push has been cut off. Booting the tables. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. And set him up. Oh, he needed a That's going to hurt. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Brutal stomp to the body and just getting started. Look at this brutality. This is how you torture your opponent. Oh my God, this is hard to watch. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He turns it around. Tagged in. The temple's getting rattled. The champ getting put to the test here. Oh, man. Three from your lights out. Reaches his partner for the tag. Being carried around with ease. Can't prepare your face for that. Oh, sorry. Scissors. Uh oh. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Oh, what a kick. Forced out of the ring. 
Dump puller leg snap. Very effective. Two. Ooh. Able to avoid it there. Fisherman suplex. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Hands the head scissors. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Gets the tag. Boost on the shoulders. The champ has his one in hand now. Makes a cover. Dude, and he makes the save for his team. Setting it up. Takedown, step through, looking for a submission here. Legs are locked up. Uh-oh. Oh. Face first. And here we go. Nice job getting the ropes. Really had no choice. Put the champ away, but just how much more is needed. The end could still be the corner. You gotta imagine this match is a different complexion after what we just saw. Every person in this capacity crowd is on their feet, and with good reason. These superstars are earning all of their respect. Running knee lift. He gets tagged in. The electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Tag is made, and here we go. And set him up. Oh, and he's the ace. That's going to hurt. Ooh, that might have just broken something. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. Yeah, they stuck it on through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Answering back. Suplex, perfect. Oh, and he hands. That's gonna hurt. And he's able to reverse. Tagged in. And finds a counter. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. Look at this wicked striking ability. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. Gets him in position. This is not going to end well for him, Michael. What are we about to see? Ooh, knee right to the hands. The third. Here he comes off the tag. He's got him scouted. Oh, he could be looking for a submission here. That's really And he makes it to the ropes. I do, boy. He bends off the attack. Going up to the top. What are we going to see here? Dragon sleeper locked in. Oh, no. Could be Champion, new champion, forces the shoulder of factor two. You'll see the look on the 
challenger's face so close to becoming champion, but the champ won't stay down. Counters! Sequence of reverses there. Gets the tag. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. He switches it back around. And they failed to hit the mark. Hooked up. Tag is registered. Some big trouble. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. Heart attack. Oh boy, he's talking him. Watching for an opening. Picking the lead. Are we gonna see? It up and we're still going. Pin attempt for the championship. One, two, oh. Come on, Ralph, get some control. Shut up, Byron. Well scattered reversal there. the target avoiding contact strikes again, with Ray scoring the pin on Von Berger, with Jake too late to make the save. And these fans are really letting the Guns brothers have it. How dare they retain the belts? Fans, we will be right back with more. They was robbed, Johnny. We close our two with the super heavyweight championship at stake, as the Mexican monolith, Warlord Santos, faces Umaga in a return match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Super Heavyweight Championship! A Samoan bulldozer is on the warpath. The 
the Samoan Bulldozer has been around the block for a while, and he's got a few championship reigns under his belt. Snarl TV title, the No Rules title, and yes, the Super Heavyweight Championship as well. Ubaga can be translated to mean either the beginning or end. Well, that's because when you face Umaga, it is the beginning of the end. Add to the mix, Umaga is one of the few wrestlers with a win over the Mexican monolith. Santos knows this. He knows Umaga can match him in power. I don't think there's anyone that is quite as intimidating as Umaga is. I've got to agree with you, Cole. Umaga has provided absolutely unmatched brutality in WWE. The title collector is here. Oh, that's true. But check out the worried face on the Mexican monolith. Mr. Cerro Miedo doesn't look the least bit concerned. And with his butt kicking tour still going strong, why would he? He's a workhorse for sure, defending the super heavy title. And he drew a number in the Memphis Million. Talk about working hard for the money, huh? Hey, that's right. It should be noted, fans, that several former Memphis millionaires are entered tonight for a chance to repeat. Anyone who could do that would really get some attention. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain, this guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. Introducing the challenger from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Samoan Bulldozer, Umaga! And his opponent, from Gomez Palacio, Durango, Mexico, weighing in at 496 pounds, he is the World Super Champion, the Giant Warlord Santos. Lots of competitors in the back dream for a shot at this title. The champion came out here, someone gloating their belt around. Don't know if that's their way of playing mind games. That's why we should give anyone the right to gloat. Look, what good is it being on top of the mountain if you don't even look down on everybody else? That is a sad attitude to have. What a headbutt. Vicious. Turning the tables. Oh, kick connects. Plants him. Nicely done. Headed up. He's thinking big. Take off. You gotta be kidding me. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Down to opponent and a double axe handle smash. The challenger is looking shaken. Setting foot in the ring now. This one is headed outside, guys. He takes control. Just sending a message there. Nice takedown. 
And Umaga's brutal nature is very unique, but is there any way an opponent can turn that to their advantage? Yeah, Umaga's brutality makes him a formidable foe, but it also makes him vulnerable to more cerebral strategies. You need to fight smarter, not harder, when you're face-to-face -face with the Samoan Bulldozer. And Umaga wants more out of his opponent. He'll take things into the ring. I am scared of this dude. All right, these next two ladies matches are a potential mammoth deal. With two chances, we could see the first time ever ladies triple crown champions. First off, it's dual champ Patty Powers, challenging for the ladies legends championship against Asuka. Champion versus Champion Contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Women's Heritage Wrestling Championship! She is one of the top competitors in the women's division. And she's got double the proof you need. Ranked at number 16 in the top 50 list, dripping with gold, Patty's been earning her stripes from day one in her first match against Raka Khan almost a year ago. And she's looking at the chance of a lifetime here, Wally. Winning a women's title in WWE already means you're at the top of the industry. So what does two titles indicate? It means we're in the presence of an all-time great competitor. Every day she holds both titles. Every time she successfully defends them, she is making her case as the GOAT of the women's division.
She has been absolutely dominant, and I think that dominance will continue tonight. Showing the world titles that she has worked so hard to collect. She and Danielle Heath Cote have been burning up ring canvas both as singles and as a tandem. And they're both here at the biggest show we got, and you can bet Patty Powers is proud to have made it to tonight. The higher the stakes, the more powerful the Empress becomes. Asuka is always on point. She can shut your lights out in the blink of an eye. And you've always got to be wary of the poison mist. Hey, if you want to earn respect, if you want to make a name for yourself in the women's division, you got to go through the Empress. A truly destructive force. Division. If you are lacing them up against Asuka, be prepared for the fight of your life. It's true. In 26 years of RWL, there's been a few male triple crowners, but never one of the ladies, and that could change tonight, twice. Introducing the challenger. From Tampa, Florida, Pat E. Pound. And her opponent, from Osaka, Japan, she is the Women's Heritage Wrestling Champion, Asuka! The champion has no intention on tonight being their final night with the title. Big title match here. In my opinion, this championship could main event any show, any place, any time. Bold declaration, Byron, but given the competitors vying for the title tonight, I'd be inclined to agree. Look at her stumble back up, probably seeing double vision. Middle rope, this one drop kick with the target. Oh, God, that hurt. What you call impact. Just tops their opponent. Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. We know that Asuka has more than enough fighting spirit in her core. Is that enough for her here tonight, Corey? Asuka's fighting spirit is only part of the equation, Corey. She also has a tremendous amount of ring awareness and knows how to precisely pick and choose her most advantageous spots. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. Whoa. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Two. Oh, it gets put into the barricade. Asuka got out of the way. Short sure, clothesline. Anything Asuka is trying is being suppressed. Rare to see Asuka in distress like this. Four. She's into the ring again. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Canadian Destroyer! There's a certain amount of anger you have to have towards your opponent to pile drive them like that. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Three. Brutal 
offense. Delivered into the barricade. What a counter. Asuka managing to find some of that needed breathing room. Brief sign of adrenaline from Asuka. Oh, man. Goodness, brutal back fist finds the ball. Boom, head first. Going way up high. From the top. The back below. Just crashing down with high impact. She was clearly waiting for that. <laughs> Saw that one coming. Post. Four. All right, she's back in, ready to go. Five. That unique energy of Asuka coursing through her veins right about now. <laughs> and Asuka gets stopped in her tracks. And set right into the corner. What a collision! Can she capitalize? Sidekick on the mark. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Oh, leg lariat. Oscar setting up. Covered by the champ. I thought the champ had it. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Asuka's in position. It's inevitable from here. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. Hangman's that break. Gosh. Oh, man. Snapmare takedown. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. From the top. The challenge over there. Championship on the line. Oscar's reign was not going to end tonight. Here is your winner. And still, women's heritage wrestling champion. Asuka defended very aggressively in this title match, not allowing Patty any kind of momentum and sealing the pin at for minutes 17 seconds. What a bummer, Johnny. We got our money's worth for that one. Take a look. Two things. Patty came back to beat in Casey after her first loss. And two, she's still a double champ, and any title match she gets is another shot at the brass ring.